This is really neat. Today we are at the Exhibition Hub Art Center in Dorville, Georgia to check out the Van Gogh and King Tut immersive experience. I'm excited about it. We are your hosts today, Chelsea Haran. And I'm Jeremy Smith. We are so excited to show you guys what this whole Exhibition Center has to offer. Welcome to another episode of The American Dream. Yes, let's go. We are here today with Mark Pettit, spokesperson of the Art Center. Thank you for having us. This is awesome. It's awesome to have you with us. Yes. Thank you for coming. We're excited to dive into this and see, you know, this whole immersive experience. I can't wait to tell you all about it. Yeah, so why Doraville? Why this building? What brought you here? We looked at more than a dozen locations around Metro Atlanta, and we picked Doraville for several reasons. One, easy access from 85 and 285. Right here in the heart of Doraville, if you like Beaufort Highway, great food all up and down. And a really big selling point was free parking. We have more than 300 free parking spaces for our guests. We moved in here about two years ago and in real estate terms this should have been a teardown but instead we did a massive renovation. We had 500 workers who were working on this building for about four months and they turned it into this beautiful state-of-the-art facility that you see now. It's 50,000 square feet so it allows us to do two immersive experiences at once. And right now you can come see Van Gogh, the immersive experience, and King Tut, his tomb and his treasures. They're both incredible, and I can't wait to show you all around. Let's go check it out. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm so excited. This is the beginning of the experience, and you'll see there's about a six foot tall bust of Van Gogh with all this digital mapping and lighting. It's just incredible. He yeah. still has his ear. He still has his ear. <laughs> <laughs> so come on in. All right. Van Gogh is most famous for his sunflowers. And there were actually 11 paintings that he painted of sunflowers, some double canvas, but these are now in galleries all around the world. And you can come here and not only see replicas of those paintings, but actually step in to the paintings when we take you into the massive gallery. Van Gogh didn't have money to travel like Monet and see parts other parts of the world. He didn't have money for models, so he painted what he had around him. And sunflowers were plentiful. Potatoes and people in the village is what he painted. We are an immersive experience company, so it's not just enough to show you the painting. We want to bring you inside the painting. And here we are inside Van Gogh's bedroom. Welcome to the bedroom, the infamous bedroom. This is it. <laughs> this is probably the most famous bedroom ever. Van Gogh was very simple. As you can see, this is very small, not a lot of space. He saw a lot of things from here that he painted. And he once said that this was actually his favorite painting of all he's ever done. This is what we call our wow room. Two-story, 360, complete immersion. This is an original orchestra, music and light show where Van Gogh's paintings come to life and you're right in the middle of the action. Wait, and here it is, it's all the pictures that, that he did of himself. Yeah, yeah, there were 25 self-portraits. Yeah. A lot of selfies going on today. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, I'm very excited to go on to our next exhibit, to King To Tut. Egypt. Oh, yes, traveling to over to Egypt. Egypt now. We're going back 102 years. It was very important for the Egyptians that their king get to the next phase of the afterworld in style. So you can see the gold, gold everywhere. Gold was very important to the Egyptians. They saw it as a divine material that brought good luck and good fortune. You know, the original treasures can no longer leave Egypt. So this was all built by Egyptian craftsmen. This is exactly what was found in King Tut's tomb. And this is really fascinating here. This is so neat. It's of beautiful. how he was actually buried. You know, mummified, then put into a smaller casket, a second, then a third. And then you see the line of everything that went into his burial. It's like a nesting doll. Everything fits into the next thing. Yeah. We want people to come and be together, enjoy art, experience art, and escape our crazy world that we're in today. Yeah. 
we're gonna have to worry about that. You're back in Egypt, just as it was 102 years ago. Right. It, it really, truly takes you back. And we appreciate, you know, taking the time to meet with us and show off all these treasures. It's been a really cool day. Well, thank you for being our guest and thank you for including us. Thank you. we've had a pretty fun day. I think so. Yes, thank you guys for joining us on this incredible immersive experience. Yes, this is a great yes. place to bring your family and friends. You can see two different exhibits. You've got King Tut, you've got Van Gogh and refreshments too. So it's just a really cool experience. We appreciate uh, you coming along to experience it with us. Thank you again for joining us on the American Dream. Yes. I'm your host, Jeremy Smith. And I'm your host, Chelsea Haran. And we'll see you next time. See you next time.